Let's look at programming IA slots now. IA slots again on the top, scroll up, scroll down, go to your picker sorter, and from here we could do our drag drop and uh, select the IA slot we want to program. Uh, over here we set the switch type. Stomp, momentary step, quick tap. Uh, if we're synchronized for an auto load, we go ahead and select the device and then the effect that we're synced to. If we're going to group this IA slot, we can go ahead and select the group that we're connected to. We can define whether this is a global IA or not, and if it is a global IA, we can set an initial state when we power on the device. If an IA slot's assigned to a particular button on a page, we can establish an on color for, for when it's in the on state, an off color when it's in the off state, and a bypass color. By default, uh, it's green and red and uh, an off state is off, but uh, you have a choice of uh, all seven colors in both a dimmed and a, a bright state. So that's where you program that for the IA slot. And then for each IA slot you have 20 uh, on programming messages and off programming messages and then you if you're using steps you will enter the names here. So if uh, I showed uh, earlier how to program special functions and um, uh, many messages but uh, here is our list of uh, special functions so we could do a MIDI command guitar tuner as an example steps sysx sends delays go to a last preset a last page and so on and uh, you can trigger other IA switches and change the color uh, randomly and a few other functions that I'll explain in a video only on special functions but here's how you would set your on messages and your off messages and really that's all there is to programming IA slots something to keep in mind that most people don't um, uh, or I've been asked questions about is that uh, while you are you can assign IA slots to pages it's not necessary at the preset level all 60 IA slots uh, are available to the controller just because you can't see it on a button so if I went here as an example uh, on this particular page you can see that I have IA slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 um, but nowhere on the page and I'm using a liquid foot 12 plus so I physically see these 12 buttons right here but nowhere on this page do I see slot number 7 however it's important to keep in mind that when you're programming uh, slot number seven whatever is programmed in here is still available at a preset level and you can set the uh, the initial IA state to on off um, or bypass and when you're loading presets you can still trigger all of these IA switches even though you don't physically see them on one of your buttons or have access to them on one of your buttons but at the preset level it does have access to them so it's very important to understand that it gives you a lot of powers because you can program uh, various functions on IA slots and still have access to them at a preset level even though you don't with your foot so that's how you program uh, IA slots and IA slots can, uh, like anything else, can go to any button on any page. So if we uh, select a button for an IA slot, all we have to do is just pick the uh, IA slot we want connected to that button. So now on button number one, we have IA slot uh, 25, and that'll get triggered. So if we click on here, you'll see button number one. If we do a second hold, uh, we'll actually trigger IA slot number 25. Okay, so that's how you do, that's how you program IA slots. Very simple.